At Imperial, one of our main focuses is to improve treatments for patients. Patients are treated in all sorts of ways in the NHS and in order to improve that treatment all the time, we need to do new studies to look at new challenges. At Imperial, we have a clinical trials unit and we have a clerk. And the reason we have those is that we need to do different kinds of studies. Some of them are clinical trials in order to evaluate new treatments and therapies. And then other times we need to look in particular at databases from both secondary care, but very importantly from primary care, which is where many patients have most of their treatments in the NHS. One of my roles at Imperial is that I am co-director of the clinical trials unit. I'm a statistician by training and profession, and I have a co-director, Professor Neil Poulter, who is a cardiovascular trialist and epidemiologist. The clinical trials unit builds on our very successful cardiovascular portfolio that's been happening at Imperial for some years. It also builds on our successful cancer trials, but we've got infectious disease trials, most notably in HIV, and we've brought all of those together to pool resources. What that means is that when we now have new groups wanting to do trials, surgery, it's very important to do trials, they're coming to us and we have a very exciting new portfolio in emergency medicine and critical care, the trials unit helps us answer those challenges in a timely way. My name is Dr Gordon, I'm a clinical senior lecturer and consultant in critical care medicine at Imperial. I came to the trials unit five years ago with a small charity grant to starting investigations in trials of patients who are critically ill with sepsis. This had been deemed a priority area by the UK ICU community. With the trials unit's help, not only have we successfully completed this early work, but we've been able to put together a strategy to build a portfolio of work. I have a NIHR Clinician Scientist Award to undertake further follow-on studies. We've also got major funding for a new trial of an exciting novel therapy in patients who have septic shock. I'm Sonia Saxena. I'm a general practitioner and I run the Child Health Unit in the Department of Primary Care and Public Health. The sort of research that I do takes advantage of the fact that patients are not in hospital for very long anymore, but they're out there in the community. And we work with our NHS partners to look at conditions such as asthma, diabetes and cancer that are diagnosed in childhood and follow those all the way through from cradle to grave. At Imperial we're really fortunate. We have excellent clinicians as academics who are well plugged into the NHS and understand what are the really important issues that need addressing and studying. We have excellent methodologists who work with them in order to design timely studies. We're fortunate in getting funding from MRC, from NIHR and from many of the charities to help us do that work. We have a brilliant team of operational staff who get together with the studies and help recruit patients to time so that we can get sharp answers and get them back out to the benefit of patients. And we're just really proud of that. <laughs>